Heading up the hill, one lap till a restart here. A turn one incident moments ago involving Bruno Junquera and Sebastian Bourdais. And some shuffling going on off pit road. Ryan Hunter Ray has stayed out on the track this time, and he will restart from the second spot. Mario Haberfeld will line up sixth in Derek Walker's Cummins Diesel Reynard car. One of the key factors today will be fuel efficiency with all the cautions. We asked Mario Haberfeld to explain fuel efficiency to us. Hi, I'm Mario Haberfeld. Driver of the number five Walker racing car. Today I'm here to talk to you about fuel saving. Fuel saving is something which is really important for us nowadays. Uh, it can gain you a lot of positions during the race and there's quite a few ways of doing this. We're here in Elkhart Lake and here uh, especially important because it's a very long lap, four miles round and we use about two and a half gallons each lap. To save fuel, uh, you can do in, ver in various ways. The, obviously, the less you, you are on the throttle, the more fuel you're going to save. So the most efficient way of saving fuel is probably lifting a little bit early before braking for the corner and just let, letting the car roll into it so you're off throttle. The other ways you can do it to save fuel is running a different torque map. Every champ car has different torque maps set by Ford and some of them help you save a little bit of fuel. Here on the steering wheel there would be a number showing me how much fuel I'm using per lap and the team will keep me posted of what number I need to reach if I can if I need to save a little bit more fuel or if we're doing okay because uh, again this would be very important on the outcome of the race. So one of the things you guys can do today is see who has done the best job in saving fuel by seeing who pits last. Watch out because a lot of races could be won or lost in the pits. And today's Champ Car Grand Prix Road America may certainly be won or lost depending on team's fuel strategy and pit strategy. Haberfeld will restart sixth. What about Bruno Junquera? Brought out the last caution, Jan Bikas. Well, he came on to pit road and you talked about on the radio, he said it wasn't fair. In fact, on the radio, he had a lot more to say that we probably can't repeat. <laughs> uh, a very frustrated Bruno Junquera. Things went well for him yesterday in the Tour de Road America on a bicycle. Not so good today on four wheels. No damage on the car is the good news, of course. He brought him on pit road with the left front tire down. They changed it. Quick stop, 11.6. What a tough day for Bruno. He has lost the lap. He'll restart 17th behind Roberto Gonzalez and Jimmy Bash. And in that little incident on that restart, we saw all the characters of and the flaws of the main championship contenders. We saw Tracy, who just goes for it, goes for it, goes for it. We've seen Bourdais, who when he's out in front and things are going his way, unstoppable. But he gets a little flustered. That's not so much the case. Bruno is a guy who's bounced back and forth from strategies. There he was too aggressive, and it, and it hurt him. Getting ready for the restart. Tracy is your restart leader. On board with A.J. Allmendinger, who comes off the road in 11th. Up the hill to the stripe. Here's Tracy. Now, Ryan Hunter Ray, who was involved in that lap one wreck, they fixed his car. All the pit stops have cycled in back to second. Third spot now belongs to Patrick Carpentier, at least on the racetrack. Justin Wilson is third in the running order. Carpentier lost a lap earlier as well. Two, in fact, and he is back in 18th spot. Here's Haberfeld restarting sixth. And we saw Wilson duck into the pits basically as that incident was happening, so that counted as a green flag stop for him. Ah. He did it, Tagliani did it, all those guys. You're looking at, if unless Paul Tracy can build up a huge gap, you're going to see him pour, like much like he did in Vancouver. He's got to build up a gap, but right now, effectively, you got to consider Justin Wilson almost the leader of this race. Wilson, Tagliani, and Levine could be in great shape, except Wilson nearly goes off into the weeds, Jan Bikas. Well, he better not go off in the weeds, because just like Tommy said, a lot of people think he now is in a perfect position. In fact, Craig Hampson, who makes the call for Sebastian Bourdais, he said, we have to pit now. We need fuel. It effectively means, and this is his quote, Justin Wilson has just won this race. Of course, that was in the heat of the moment, and Justin has to keep it on the course to do it. Well, by that, according to that, Alex Tagliani just won the race because he he made a green flag stop and he just went around Wilson. We'll so. see how it plays out. Most interesting, maybe the best action we've seen all season long. Rodolfo Levine is on the button. He got around as well, and he is up a spot. So Levine working toward fourth. Now here is Wilson. We're riding with the MyJack car. Wilson really pressing hard here. Tracy is your leader. Started six today. A couple of bonsai moves put Tracy into the lead, but the pit stop cycle may have cost him greatly. Let's take a look back at that action involving Tagliani a moment ago. 
This is Wilson off course and Tagliani getting by him. So it's Wilson gave up third. Tagliani was already making a move on Wilson and that's part of why Wilson went in too deep. Well fellas Paul Gentilozzi and the people in the Rocket Sports pit down here believe that effectively their guy leads this race. They like Wilson did sneak in just before that other last yellow and so they have a green flag stop in the bank and they're really feeling good down here about their chances in this event. A couple of other people have got the same break. The tag is in that group and he's going to be in a fight for a victory here. Tagliani, Justin Wilson and uh, Rodolfo Levine. Jan Bikas. Sebastian Bourdais obviously he doesn't need much fuel. This is how fast can the crew get it done. Wow! 7.2 seconds. That's what happens if you don't have to take a lot of fuel, but they got a lot of catching up to do. Here comes Junquera behind Servia. So we've got three different races kind of being run here. You've got, if there are no yellows between now and the end, Tagliani has a one-stop advantage over a guy like Paul Tracy, and he's got a huge track position advantage over Bourdais now that he's made his stop. So if what Bourdais guys are doing, because they didn't have the clear track in front of them, they said, you know what, we're going to come in, and if they get a yellow between now and Tagliani stops, that it cancels out there, will be in pretty good shape relative to Tagliani. If it goes green to the end, Paul Tracy needs to make huge time to overcome making an extra green flag stop relative to Tagliani. And that's what PT is working on right now in Carnival One, the Forsyth Index Lola. Tracy won two weeks ago on the streets of Vancouver, the defending series champion. He was 4.2 seconds to the good over Ryan Hunter Ray when they came by Pitt Road by the start finish line last time. Now there is Wilson leading Rodolfo Levine, fourth and fifth. Tagliani is up ahead of Wilson. That great pass we showed you off turn five last time around. And he may be the guy, Tagliani, for Rocket Sports. We talked earlier about how they've struggled. He's done well here, still searching for his first Champ Car World Series victory. Up the front straightaway with Levine. There's Haberfeld in sixth. And now this, it makes for very exciting races with lots of uncertainty. If the race ends this way and being decided on this, you're going to have guys like Craig Hampson screaming bloody murder. Um, with the old fuel windows, this couldn't happen. But now that it's wide open, it can. And so uh, ideally, you'd like the guy that starts up front and is the fastest to win. But that's not always the case. And I'll tell you what, with uh, the, the added level of excitement it adds, I can't argue with it. Leaders under the Sargento Bridge off of turn three. Tracy leads Tagliani, Wilson, and Levine at Road America.